In today's video, I answer a question that one of my group coaching clients asked me in our session on Thursday, and she asked me, can fasting increase D2 receptors? You know how much I'm always talking about raising our D2 receptor numbers or basically raising our baseline dopamine levels um, via exercise or doing anything uncomfortable. And so the question was, if right now I can't train super hard, can I use some other form of discomfort like fasting? And the answer was yes and no. Anything uncomfortable is going to raise your baseline dopamine level or the specifically the D2 receptor amounts in your brain, which is this protein on all your brain cells that dopamine has to bind to in order for you to feel the beneficial effects of dopamine, which again, I've talked extensively about that in so many other videos. So I'm not going to go into that right now. Fasting can be very uncomfortable. So from that perspective, yes, it can raise D2 receptor numbers. However, it can only do so much before you are emaciated. So if we really want to upregulate D2 receptors as much as possible, if you really want to raise baseline dopamine levels as much as possible, how are we going to achieve that with fasting? How long are you going to fast for? How often are you going to do that? And the, the more you're fasting, the less nutrients you're taking in, the less protein, the less energy you're taking in because you're just not eating anything. You need nutrients. You need to be properly fueled with dense, nutrient-dense foods like meats and any kind of animal-based food. So this is why I like exercise so much because it allows you to eat a lot more and to get a lot more nutrients, a lot more protein, a lot more energy because you need the proteins and you need the energy to make those D2 receptors. Those D2 receptors are proteins. And so to make proteins, you need the precursors like amino acids that are going to be used as the building blocks to create those proteins, those D2 receptors. And you also need ATP molecules or energy in the form of calories in order to allow that synthesis to happen. So this is, again, why I harp so much on exercise. It's just so much easier to, and, and it's a lot more effective, really, to raise D2 receptors a lot faster and way, way higher than any other modality that I have looked into. Another downside to using fasting as a way to increase D2 receptors is that the more you fast, the less nutrients you're taking in, the worse your workouts are getting if you're not properly fueled. Overall, your fitness level could potentially drop over time. So if you're losing fitness, that also means that you're dropping the number of D2 receptors in your brain. They go hand in hand. Your fitness level, so how fast you can run or how much, how heavy the weights that you can lift, those are equal to you, the amount of D2 receptors you have in your brain. And so you want to have them as elevated as possible to have as much D2 receptors as you can. And so fasting makes it very hard for us to have really high levels of performance, uh, whether cardiovascular or strength training. So you have to think about that as well. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I wanted to shout out Spearhead Soaps and all of the swag they always send me. It's a beef tallow based skin care product. So this is one of my favorite products that they have, the anti-aging mask. It smells so good. And they've sent me all kinds of soap and they have makeup now. They have lipstick and all that kind of stuff. It's all very clean beef tallow based skincare products that does not have inflammatory seed oils that could potentially um, really wreak havoc on your skin upon exposure to the sun. So check them out. All of my links, all of my affiliate links are linked in the description box below. So you'll ch use my code to get a 10% discount. All right. Thank you so much for sticking with me till the end. Check out my group coaching if you're interested in that. The details are at the end of this video. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.